We are also on Weibo. Please check us out for more great videos. Wait, they were in those? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors you forgot were in the Twilight movies. They are going to take you. <laughs> Kim, stay focused, baby. This is key. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at actors who either got their start in this popular franchise or established stars who made more minor appearances. When you're ready, come and get it. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Number 10, Maggie Grace. Where are you now? I don't really know, Kim. Dad, how could I tell them where to find you then? You can't. You may not immediately recognize her name, but her face has been all over the small screen in Lost and other TV shows. Not only that, but she's also been on the silver screen in the Taken franchise. So why not add a beautiful but broken-hearted vampire to her resume? Starring in such a major blockbuster franchise definitely gave this actress more star power, as Maggie Grace gave the character of Arena life on screen. Well, as much life as anyone can give to a vampire, that is. I have to report a crime. The Collins. They've done something terrible. Number 9, Boo Boo Stewart. Go away, Leah. I can take care of myself. This is another name you might not instantly recognize. But according to his IMDb page, this young actor's career has definitely been picking up steam. Stewart has also been killing it on the Disney scene, playing Jay in the Descendants franchise. Impressive. However, before he was making girls swoon as Jafar's son, he was making them weak in the knees as a member of Jacob's pack and Leah's younger brother. Stand back. As Seth Clearwater, Stewart did a wonderful job of portraying a werewolf who was one of the strongest shapeshifters in the clan. <laughs> Number 8, Dakota Fanning. But what do you mean? You're not like other daddies. From a very early age, the eldest Fanning sister has been in the public eye. With roles in everything from I Am Sam to The Alienist, she's been all over Hollywood and has been making wonderful career choices along the way. But Dakota Fanning in this film saga as an evil vampire? It was an unexpected casting, but one that totally worked. Fanning filled the role of Jane with just the right amount of calm and viciousness. It proved that this starlet has what it takes to continue her already fantastic career. Oh. Pain. Number 7, Angela Serafian. You're new. Not much of a brand on you. I'll give you a discount. I got no offense, but I'd rather earn a woman's affection than pay for it. For many, fame is a slow rise to the top before catching a big break. This could be said for Angela Serafian, who played Egyptian vampire Tia and is starting to make a name for herself in Hollywood. And her portrayal of Clementine Pennyfeather in Westworld has more than proved her worth on screen. Clementine. However, before she was a beguiling but dangerous brothel-working host, she was in a handful of TV series, playing characters in both one-off episodes and occasionally as a regular, as well as acting in several films. Number 6, Lee Pace. Despite it being a chow, the breed most likely to turn on its owner. Hey, hey, that's racial profiling. So far in his career, he has played a cursed pie maker, an elf, and an alien warlord. And that's just the tip of the iceberg as far as crazy characters go. So playing Garrett, a nomadic vampire and close friend of Carlisle Cullen, seems on paper to be right up Pace's alley. Though only appearing in the final film of the saga, Lee did bring the same amount of gusto and finesse to the character as he does with every role he's ever played. Name any American battle. I was there. A little big one. This close to biting Custer, but the Indians got him first. Number five, Bryce Dallas Howard. Billy Holbrook! Oh, Billy! That's funny. I 
didn't get anything. <laughs> Not unlike her immensely famous father, Ron, and somewhat thanks to him as well, Bryce Dallas Howard has been in the media since she was a young girl. After all, one of her first roles was in one of her father's earlier films, Apollo 13. Obviously, since then, she's made a name for herself in Hollywood, starring in everything from a couple of M. Night Shyamalan films to The Help and the Jurassic World franchise. So what's this thing made of? The base genome is a T-Rex. The rest is classified. You made a new dinosaur, but you don't even know what it is. So how did she end up replacing Rochelle Lefebvre as the antagonizing vampire Victoria in this movie saga? We aren't sure either. Number 4. Jamie Campbell Bauer Back in the late aughts and early 2010s, it seemed like you couldn't escape a YA sci-fi fantasy franchise. No, there's no one else's eyes that can see into me. From Harry Potter to the Mortal Instruments, young adult book series from those genres were being made into film series at a crazy rate. And it seemed like Jamie Campbell Bauer was in almost all of them including this particular saga as Caius, yet another vampire from that creepy coven, the Volturi. What do you want? Hmm? This was probably his most outwardly evil role at the time, but a young Grindelwald might be a close second. Number three, Rami Malek. My family. We believe in each other. Everything. We know him now as Freddie Mercury, Elliot Anderson from Mr. Robot, and even Flip McVicker from BoJack Horseman. Unless I was Princess Carolyn the whole time. Hmm. Oh, fish! But we all need to start somewhere. And it may shock you to remember that only a handful of years before his current level of fame, this rising star was an elemental vampire from the Egyptian coven in the last film of the Twilight Saga. We'll join you. No. I will do the right thing, Amon. You may do as you please. Breaking Dawn Part 2 was a wild ride through current and future A-listers. And yes, Malik is one of them. Along with Mr. Robot co-star, Omar Metwali, who played a member of the same coven. Crazy how Hollywood works, isn't it? Get out of here right now, or I'll call the police. And you want them to find out about the 100 terabytes of child pornography you served to your 400,000 users? Number 2. Michael Sheen Welsh actor Michael Sheen has been in just about everything, from Midnight in Paris to Frost Nixon to The Queen. In the Twilight franchise, Sheen plays Aro, a telepathic vampire who is part of the Volturi. The actor said that he was drawn to the role because he liked, quote, the idea that Aro is someone who has sort of gone crazy through being immortal. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we think he brought a delicious insanity to the character that only Sheen could. First it's the spelling and the grammar. Before we remember our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. We've been waiting 1,500 years to return that favor. They kind of keep to themselves. Yeah, because they're all together. Like, together, together. Um. Number one, Anna Kendrick. That's Edward Cohen. He's <laughs> totally gorgeous, obviously. But apparently nobody here is good enough for him. Like I care, you know. Despite stealing almost every scene she was in, the fact that even Anna Kendrick tweeted jokingly that she barely remembered being in the series is pretty hilarious. Granted, her career has exploded since the first film was released. You don't like it? Hmm, let's see, how can I put this? My poor unfortunate ears! With wonderful appearances on Saturday Night Live, and starring in the funny and endearing Pitch Perfect franchise. It's going down. Major Black beat the homies. Got Abby collab creations. Bump like acne, no doubt. I put it down, never slouch. As long as my credit could vouch a dog couldn't catch me straight up. And that's just getting started on her stellar career so far. In fact, she was even nominated for an Academy Award in the category of Best Supporting Actress for her role in Up in the Air. Did they throw you a parade? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.